Hi there. The intended learning outcome of this video is for the students to be able to compare and contrast the four major types of health systems. Uh, let's start by defining what we mean by health system. Health system is the organization of people, institutions, and resources that deliver health care to meet the health needs of certain populations or target populations. Uh, you can call it also health care system. Not all nations use the same model to organize their health system. In fact, there are four major types of healthcare systems. And these four models are the beverage model, also known as national health system. An example of a country using the beverage model is the United Kingdom. The second model is the Bismarck model, also known as socialized health insurance system used in Germany. The third model is the national health insurance model used in Canada, and the fourth uh, used to some extent in the United States, the private insurance uh, system. Let's discuss each of these models. The first model is the beverage model, named after United Kingdom's economist who laid the foundations for establishing the United Kingdom's National Health Service. In this system, coverage is universal. All residents are covered. Contribution to the system through taxes is compulsory. In this model, health services are financed by a single payer, the government, through tax payments. Health services are provided mostly by public providers, hospitals or individual providers working for the government. Uh, the majority of the hospitals are controlled by the government and doctors and nurses and other health professionals are employees of the government. They are salaried employees. Healthcare in this system is free at the point of use. Hospitals are reimbursed through global budgets, a fixed amount of money over a certain period. Doctors are salaried or paid by capitation. The Veterans Health Administration system in the United States is very much similar to the beverage model. universally cover all uh, beneficiaries, financed by taxes. Uh, the payer is the government and services are provided by the government and the providers are reimbursed by local budgets and through salaries. The second model is the Bismarck model, also known as Socialized Health Insurance System, used, for example, in Germany. In this system, all residents are covered. Participation in the system is compulsory. 
everyone must contribute to the funds somehow. In this system, there are multiple sickness funds. Think of a sickness fund like a major health insurance company. We call them sickness funds. So in this system, there are multiple sickness funds that collect contributions and pay for services. The contribution, the contributions to these funds come from employers, employees, and individuals. Employees pay about 8% of their gross income to a non-profit insurance company called a sickness fund. Employee, employees, employers, pay about the same amount. Services are provided mainly by the private sector. Hospitals in the system are paid by sickness funds on a per diem basis, per diem per day. And doctors are paid according to a negotiated fee schedule for service. The Medicaid in the United States is somehow similar to this system. The third model is the National Health Insurance Model, used in Canada. Participation in this model is compulsory. Everyone pays taxes. And coverage is universal. All residents are covered by the system. There is a single payer, which is the government. Uh, coverage is publicly financed through general taxation. And there is a tight consolidation of the financing coordinated by the government. Services in this model are provided largely by the private sector. And hospitals in this system are paid through global budgets, and doctors are paid according to negotiated fee or service. Medicare in the US is similar somehow to this model. The fourth model is the private insurance system used to some extent in the United States. Coverage is not universal, it's voluntary. Aside from Medicare, Medicare, Medicaid, and VA, if you are not employed and if you don't have health insurance through your employer or through the marketplace, you are not participating in the system. You don't have coverage when you need the service. So it is not universal and it is voluntary. Uh, with the Affordable Care Act and the individual mandate, it was compulsory. But after the repeal of the individual mandate a few years ago, it is back to be voluntary. People are provided with government-sponsored employment-based or individually purchased insurance coverage in this system. The financing, there is multi-payer financing. 
the government is a major fight, is a major payer in this in the US healthcare system. Uh, financing can come from both private and public sources, employers, individuals, employers pay, individuals pay out of pocket, and uh, government through taxes. Who provide the services in the system? It's mostly the private sector. Services are provided mainly by the private sector. Uh, hospital in this system are paid through diagnosis related groups. We're going to get to discuss this later. Capitation, fee for service, per diem, etc. Doctors are uh, paid based on resource based resource value system RP, RP, RPS, uh, scale. This table you can freeze this table just to watch the to see the four different models and the different attributes in matrix version. Thank you.